Now, restructuring these uh, ailing sectors is expected to be a painful process. The stakes and costs are high, and the loss of jobs potentially massive. To help us better understand why it's deemed necessary, our Kwon Jung Ho zooms in on the stark reality faced by many Korean industries. A global economic slump, as well as the rise of competition from China, has led to plummeting sales, orders and profits in Korea. Last December, the government named five industries that were in need of an overhaul. Shipbuilding, shipping, construction, steelmaking and petrochemicals. Shipbuilding has arguably been the hardest hit. Low oil prices and falling trade have led to orders drying up. Meanwhile, Chinese rivals are winning more orders, especially for smaller ships. Last year, the Korea's big three shipbuilders, Hyundai Heavy Industries, Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, and Samsung Heavy Industries, posted a combined loss of 6.5 billion US dollars. It was also the first year all three players posted losses. The order backlog also dropped to the lowest in 12 years, and targets were lowered by 20%. The shipping industry is also in trouble. Korea's number one and two, Hanjin Shipping and Hyundai Merchant Marine, have both had to seek debt settlement agreements with creditors after amassing a combined debt of $9 billion. Falling trade, especially exports to China, have been the biggest factor. Korea's imports and exports have posted negative growth every month since the beginning of 2015. A shake-up in the global shipping industry, with the world's biggest shippers forming new alliances, is causing further uncertainty. Operating margins for the steel-making and petrochemical industries have been relatively healthy, but production for both continue to decrease as cheaper steel from China and low oil prices have decreased their demand. Construction is the only one that has seen growth in recent years. The government knows that time is of the essence to save these struggling industries. The country's economy relies on them. It's looking to push through with the restructuring before political burdens start to mount ahead of next year's presidential election. Kwan Jao, Arirang News.